for me, there's something very special about Transcendence for for various reasons. And uh, this was this film was released quite a few years ago now, and it's directed by Wally Pfister and written by Jack Paglin, Paglin perhaps, and stars Johnny Depp, which is the reason why I went to see this initially. And I'm so glad that I did. So the two reasons this is something a little bit special for me is, one, it's one of the first Depp films I saw that wasn't directed by Tim Burton. I fell in love with Depp through Tim Burton's work. This gave me a chance to see what Depp was like in a slightly more, I was going to say slightly more sensical film, but perhaps not given the topic. And also, this was the first time I really remember watching a film in the cinema and thinking that was incredible it's one of the most beautifully visual films or visually beautiful films i have ever seen the editing the use of cgi it, it's it's amazing it really is great so the description for this film from imdb is as follows a scientist's drive for artificial intelligence takes on dangerous implications when his own consciousness is uploaded into one such program Okay, so we have a lot of looking at the human mind versus a machine's mind and what if the two are intertwined? What kind of AI would that be? What level of power would that give the human mind? And Depp is so good in this. It really is a very intense film. It feels real when you're watching it. Certainly I found that it felt real. Not that it was something that was going to happen in 60, 70 hundred years time but it felt like something that could happen next year and then that makes it kind of scary and quite a really gritty thriller. Depp's performance was great. The way the character progresses, um, Will, the way he progresses once this kind of happens when he becomes part of the AI I think is really effective and there are emotions and then there are, are no emotions, and then there's hyper-intelligence. And the journey this character goes on is, is beautiful to watch because it will mess with your mind quite a bit and make you question quite a lot. And then things get a little bit intense, or really very intense, and maybe about the, in the th third, third, <laughs> towards the end, it just... It completely blows up with how much of an action-packed film this is and how visually compelling it is. And for me, the narrative was, you know, progressed fantastically. I have no complaints about the pacing. Depp's acting was brilliant. The choice of narrative unfolded very well. We have some other great cast in here. Morgan Freeman's in it, which is always a bonus. And there were some really great performances all around. Some very vast scenes beautiful imagery, a lot of bright white colour palettes going on here which makes it feel very futuristic and it really absorbs you and I think that that's one of the films, one of the benefits sorry that the film excels with in how much it captures you and makes you part of this. Certainly that's what I felt you may feel differently. It has a 6.3 out of 10 rating on IMDb which I feel is pretty reasonable. I would probably give this a 4 out of 5 if I did a star rating, maybe like a 4.3 out of 5 if we want to get really pernickety. But I thoroughly enjoyed it. I, you know, it, it's a visual masterpiece. In terms of storytelling, it's great. And obviously Johnny Depp's fantastic. So I loved it. Please let me know if you've seen it, what you think of it, and if it lived up to your expectations. I'm so glad I saw this in the cinema rather than waiting for the you know, DVD or whatever because it, it was an experience. I do think this will end up happening one day and I don't think we'll learn from the story in the film.